Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Mike from Long Island Shaving. Thank you very much for uh, joining me today. Uh, I really appreciate you being here. Sorry I haven't done a, a video in quite some time. Uh, kind of life gets ahead of you, gets a little busy, so I haven't been able to do any videos. Uh, I know the channel is fairly new, but, uh, you know, I really do appreciate each and every one of you that have subscribed to the channel. Uh, it means a lot. So with that, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, I have a really, um, I have a really cool shave in store for you guys today. It's Saturday morning. Uh, I received a new uh, soap set in the mail, as you guys saw from the thumbnail. Kind of been really excited about this one. Looking forward to it because um, I'm typically I, I'm I'm big on evergreen scents. So uh, this one was definitely within my wheelhouse of, of soaps that I was uh, definitely looking to pick up. And when I saw the set notes, I knew I had to get it. So with that said, without further ado. Uh, today I'm going to be shaving with the Northman. Um, this is a special collaboration uh, from Caleb from Ellsworth Razors and Sean at McDuff's Soap Company. Um, this is something that they were working on together. And uh, again, as, I, as soon as I saw the set notes for this, I was immediately going to be placing my order. Um, so that's that's the shave soap we'll be going with today. Uh, I'll get into the scent notes in a second. Uh, obviously, I do also have the uh, matching splash. So uh, I will tell you when I received this yesterday, because I haven't shaved with this yet, um, I put the splash on the back of my hand. Um, I do that just to kind of really kind of assess the scent to see how how it is and how the longevity is throughout the day and uh, to really appreciate the scent before I start to shave with it. So I did that, and uh, I have to say the scent is absolutely amazing. Longevity, it lasts the entire day. I actually went to sleep last night, woke up this morning. It was still on the back of my hand, and that was almost, uh, you know, almost 24 hours later. So um, really awesome uh, scent there. Uh, the shave brush that I'm going to be going with is from AKA Brushworks. Never Alone brush that I had picked up from the Razor Company. Absolutely love this handle is just phenomenal. The colors um, throughout, you know, the gray, blue, black. There's some white, um, obviously, with the coin. And I uh, kind of really enjoyed this. It was calling my name. Uh, didn't have a knot. Um, Jason was helpful in uh, choosing a knot for this. And then we went with the G5C knot in this brush. So I've never used this knot before. So this will be the first time trying it. Uh, from what I see, um, I know I'm really going to enjoy this shave. Um, and I like it a lot. So uh, thank you, Jason, for taking care of that for me and getting this out to me. Um, I have the soap in uh, the Captain's Choice Obsidian Bowl. Uh, so I'll be lathering that today with the new brush. Um, so that's pretty much it. So let's get started with that. Going to put some water, kind of get this thing going. What I normally do, just so I don't know if anyone does this, is, you know, I obviously put the soap in the bowl. Everyone has their way of doing things. But I kind of... Um, Mash the soap along the entire bottom. I don't leave it in the middle. I know a lot of wet shavers just kind of leave uh, a scoopful right in the middle. I kind of evenly disperse it across um, the bottom. And one thing I will say is this soap is extremely soft. It's a crope type soap, so I would not recommend lathering it inside the container itself. Highly recommend, especially with McDuff soaps. Um, it's really recommended to scoop and bowl lather. Um, let's get, that's my opinion. Uh, but again, what I do is I kind of spread it out evenly across the bottom, um, kind of get that going. And then I usually use my spray bottle to kind of fill it up. Obviously, usually about 10 sprays. With the bougie sweat sprayer. And that, you know, that's usually about enough. Once it stops, this is the uh, sprayer that I use. Just so you guys know, you can pick this up on Amazon. Love how when you, you spray it a bunch of times, it just, the mist can just continues. Uh, this was actually recommended to me by Carlos. Um, so thank you, Carlos, for the recommendation on that. So uh, let's whip up this lather with the new uh, AKA Brushworks Never Alone Brush with the G5C knot. I heard a lot of great things about this knot and I wanted to try something different. Um, this is, you know, I have the AK7 and some of the other knots, the fan knots that I've used that I really do enjoy as well, but I never tried the G5C and I heard great things. So decided to go with that uh, and put that knot in this brush. 
And even so, even me, I mean, with those 10 sprays, you would think that would be enough water. It still needs, it definitely takes uh, a lot of water to make Duff soaps. Really uh, enjoy the different uh, scents that um, Sean puts out from McDuff Soap Company. He really does a phenomenal job. A lot of the outdoor scents, uh, obviously with all the cabins that they have. And uh, this is more evergreen forward, which I really do like around this time of the year, especially during the holidays. So uh, I definitely take an appreciation for uh, all the different scents that he puts out. I think I uh, when I looked last week just to kind of get an idea of what I have in the den I think I'm up to uh, this is about the 12th uh, soap set that I have from McDuff soap and soap company and I enjoy each and every one of them there has not been a soap that I have not liked from McDuff's so just whipping up the lather here as you guys can see knots taking on the lather really well kind of get this going actually I love this bowl too the obsidian captain's choice bowl is a phenomenal bowl uh, to use so for anyone that is new to the wet shaving community, um, Captain's Choice Bowl is a pretty, uh, you know, it's a staple in the, in the industry and it's one that a lot of wet shavers do buy. Another really good one that I have that I use constantly is the HCNC Hendrix Classics Bowl. So that's another one that I also use pretty much all the time. So the, between the two, these are the two top bowls that I use. So I think I'm ready to go and with the face and uh, we'll get right into the shave. Yeah, absolutely love this uh, bougie sprayer. Oh yeah. So just to give you guys an idea, just reading off the set notes here. Uh, set notes are Douglas fir, fir balsam, uh, black pine, bergamot, juniper, pink, peppercorn, leather, musk, oud, and cedarwood. Definitely within my wheelhouse. All those scents are right what i typically uh, gravitate towards and i really do like a lot so let's break the backbone on this new brush there's never any concern about a mcduff soap not lathering they always lather phenomenally they're only really good always really good Wow, really very, you know, obviously you pick up the evergreen notes right away, uh, which I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite scents. All the evergreens I'm all into. And you definitely get the pink peppercorn. The leather, you know, you kind of, you know, you kind of see, the, you know, the bottom notes, you kind of pick up the leather scents in the background. But it's a very, um, not your typical evergreen scents. I would say this is more on the, uh, more of a cologne type scent. I know a scent that I think most would enjoy. Your significant other. Date night, you know, going out to dinner. This will be a perfect scent um, to wear. I think I'm good. Ready for my first pass against the grain, with the grain actually. And uh, I didn't tell you, I didn't mention, so I'm actually going to be shaving with today the Dracant stainless uh, open comb. Uh, this razor, because I just read the specs on it, it's the same blade gap as their plus plate. Um, so it's 0.99 millimeters. Um, exposure is uh, 0 0.125 millimeters. It's considered uh, very smooth, very efficient. I have never used this. So by the way, when I picked up the soap, I also ordered the open comb. I have the plus plate and um, I had sold a razor that had an open comb. So I wanted to have a razor that I can use if needed. Heavy beard, you know, three to five days growth. If I ever get to that point uh, where I feel this will be very good. So I have a couple days growth right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and shave with this and uh, from what I hear it's a very smooth efficient shave so this is my first pass with the uh, Dracant open comb so I'll start here cut the sideburns all 
very nice so far. Again, first time using it, it is very smooth. It seems very efficient, just like it says. So I do enjoy, I have the plus plate, very much enjoy this razor. And uh, I know Caleb and uh, Carlos had done a shave together. They both had the open comb on that shave. Felt it was fitting for the type of soap that we were going with, with the Northman. So I said, you know what, why not? I need a really good open comb, stainless steel razor. So I picked it up and uh, so far I'm very happy that I did. Very nice. All right. I have to say, you know, with the Northman, the label alone sells itself. You look at it, you know, definitely hardcore. This type of razor with the open comb, as badass as it looks, is definitely fitting for this type of shave. Very nice. I actually... Uh, if it makes any sense, I mean, uh, it's still the same, you know, blade gap as a standard plate, but I feel like I get a little bit more blade feel, which I believe was mentioned. And one thing, you know, and I've told many of you this, I do prefer razors with a little bit of blade feel. I don't mind it if it does have a lot. But honestly, I've had, you know, since, you know, I've done this, I've been in wet shaving now for about a year and a half, and I've had many different razors that I no longer have that I sold, and I'm keeping the ones that I really do enjoy using. Um, a lot of the milder razors that I picked up early on, I decided to kind of pass on and move on. Uh, some I kept, um, but I'm feeling that more and more that I'm gravitating towards, uh, you know, their plus plates or, you know, more aggressive type razors. So I think I'm heading down the uh, straight razor channel very soon. I think I'm gonna, this could be my next purchase at some point. So far so good. Wow, I like this uh, plate. And I didn't mention, guys, and I apologize, I have the um, Gillette Platinum Blade I'm using in this razor. I know Caleb had uh, recommended that uh, that's one of the blades of his head blade of choice for him, along with the Silver Blue, which I also use in this razor. And early on, I did notice, you know, blades make a difference in this razor because I had a razor that uh, blades that I normally use all the time. And I wasn't too crazy about it. And uh, once uh, Caleb had recommended that you try the Gillette Platinum or the Silver Blue, as soon as I tried the Gillette Platinum, it was a completely different shave. So blade absolutely makes a difference. Try not to cut myself last time, uh, about a week or so ago, I, I hit my nose. We all make those mistakes sometimes, so. It took a while to heal. I had to kind of watch that spot. All right, really great uh, with the grain pass. So I'm gonna go for pass number two. Go across the grain. And I know a lot of you asked about this water bottle. I will leave it. Again, this was uh, recommended to me by Carlos. So uh, I will put in a link in the description uh, for those of you that have asked. I know uh, it's a real, one of the best spray bottles I've ever used. So it really is great. Oh, the scent is phenomenal. It really is. I absolutely love it. 
Shorty, no, Caleb, you guys really outdid yourself with this one. Again, I love all scents from, uh, from McDuff's, but this one is absolutely special. And it's very fitting for the time of year. And as we head into the holiday season, this is a perfect soap, you know, soap set to, uh, to use during this time of the year. So how's everybody doing? Again, I uh, do apologize. I haven't done a video in a while. It's been a little bit, a little bit, a little crazy with work and stuff. And life getting in the way. But I try to do these videos if I can on Saturday mornings. It's kind of, the weather is not the greatest today. So not getting out for a while. I really like the efficiency of this. Uh, I think I may use this all the time now. Does not feel overly aggressive, very smooth. Probably the smoothest, I would say the smoothest open comb razor I've ever used, and I used many. I had, um, which I no longer have, I've had the Blackbird, both the, you know, the standard plate and the open comb, and I felt that that open comb was a very aggressive shave. But uh, this one is perfect. Cut myself a little bit there. I did feel that, by the way. Nice. And one thing I do, which, uh, you know, I've always done, you know, some people rinse between passes. I feel you have the soap on your face from the last pass. In my view, just keep it on there. Just wet the face and go for your third, second or third. So... If you already have, you know, soap on your face that obviously helps with, you know, efficiency and, and that shave that you actually, you know, sorry, uh, I'm cutting myself a little bit. Just leave it on. You can rinse it off in the end. You know, it adds to the slickness. Can't believe we're in October already. This year has flown by. I remember telling you guys about a vacation I'm going to in the summer, and now it's uh, fall. But I really do enjoy the fall season. There's a lot of different fall scents, and I would say out of all the uh, soap sets that I do have, I do have quite a bit that fall into the fall scent, you know, time of theme uh, season. So, uh, it is a season for shaving that I really do like a lot. So and the last uh, pass would be against the grain.
Yeah, this uh, this raise honestly was a great recommendation. Um, when I first gave it a consideration, was from Nate from BBS Live. Uh, he seemed to, he has the uh, titanium version, but he seemed to really take a liking to this razor. And based on what he was sharing, he seemed right up right his right up his alley. Um, so I think in July I had picked this up in July. Ordered it from the I had an order in for the razor company, so I picked this up from the razor company. It's the uh, satin bead blasted version, which. Uh, absolutely love the way this razor looks stainless steel solid razor i appreciate the weight of the stainless steel razors i do like titanium i have some titanium razors but i do like the weight of stainless steel a little album block here sorry this way i don't bleed out on camera you know <laughs> have to respect the razor guys take it nice and easy and don't do what I do <laughs> I still consider it a very good shave so one little weeper is not going to stop me All right, third pass done. Pretty much BBS. So now, good time to rinse. So I'm gonna have rinse real quick. This is usually a trouble spot, but it's actually perfect. Yep, I am good to go. Allen block there. Stop that. Uh, wasn't a razor, that's so that's good. Lancaster razor work towel. Absolutely incredible. Actually waiting for uh, hopefully another drop at some point, maybe for the holidays. I want to pick up a blue one. You know, I have the charcoal and black, but really great towels. Really like them a lot. And by the way, that brush, G5C knot, I absolutely enjoy. I, I didn't mention it, but this knot was phenomenal. It was so good. I didn't. I thought I had it, and I've been using it for a long time. So uh, this was a very good choice. If you have, uh, you know, a handle, 26 millimeter, and you're looking for a really good knot, uh, the G5C knot, um, Ray's company has them in stock. Uh, very good choice uh, to go go with uh, for any handles. I think there is some handles left over. It was like one or two, um, but again, I actually loved the way this uh, handle looked, so I, I had to pick it up and uh, support the cause as well. So uh, thank you, Jason, for that. Um, Northman was phenomenal. Really enjoyed that shave um, and that open comb uh, plate for the uh, Dracant uh, stainless um, offered a phenomenal shave. Definitely BBS. I'm going to be using that probably more so than the standard plate, to be honest with you. I like the way that uh, plate feels. All right, let's get into the splash, matching splash. Now, I think this is gonna be special, and like I had mentioned, the longevity on this was just absolutely unbelievable. So I'm expecting this to uh, last the entire day. Very strong evergreen scent with you know the leather and pink peppercorn scent in the background. And one thing I will say about McDuff's po uh, aftershaves, post-shave feel, one of the best aftershave splashes in the game. Very moisturizing. You don't need any bombs with the M McDuff's uh, splashes. Oh my God, that scent is just phenomenal. 
and it's got enough skin food that you can put it all over, all over your face, which I typically do. So, Caleb, Sean, phenomenal collaboration. I really did enjoy this shave. Uh, excellent razor. Definitely recommend that razor. If you guys never tried it, definitely pick that up. Uh, but the Northman was, uh, it's going to be one of my fall, uh, winter favorites. I'm going to be using it quite often uh, this year. And uh, that G5C knot was another thing I really did enjoy from the first time using it as well. So great shave. I really appreciate you all being here today. Again, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please subscribe. Uh, I really do appreciate you. Comment below if you have any questions. If I can help in any way, I will. And uh, thank you all again for subscribing. And I appreciate you being here. Uh, it really means a lot. So thank you. Have a great weekend, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.